Thanks a lot. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the 2022 Garden State Film Festival, celebrating its amazing 20th year 20 anniversary. Years. 20 years. Wow. 20 years. Um, imagine if you had 20 years back, if you were like 20 years younger. Oh, man, man. Mid 20s? Oh, you know, no, don't, don't, you don't, don't, you don't, don't imagine that. I'd be that, half uh, the person I am. Don't imagine I'd love that. to be in my 20s with all this digital video, though. Yeah. Exactly. Amazing. Uh, my name is Ming Chen. CJ Cullen. Uh, I have uh, amazing filmmakers, actors, uh, awesome people uh, here yet again. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Sure. Mike Farher. I'm the writer, producer, and for a hot minute actor in the first part of Love Letters Profiles. And I'm Jerry Lennon, and I play Peg in Love Letters Profiles. That's amazing. So uh, I, I, I watched some of this. Um, shot on Zoom. Just, well, yeah, in so a way. It, was, it was shot on Zoom, okay. um, but uh, John Sabia, who was our director, which was a really great thing, he said, you know, let's film it live action yes. and then put the Zoom effect on right. plus actual Zoom itself okay. so that it didn't occur that you were just watching a Zoom, yeah. right. uh, you know, a Zoom conference. Yeah, 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 yeah. You didn't just hit like record and like, I, I okay, really, here's our film. Yeah. So. I'm so glad that's the first thing you picked up on because I do think that that was something we, we really slaved over is like, how do we not make this into a Zoom conference call right. and bring those elements into it? Yeah. So thanks for noticing that first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're no, actually no. we're actually in the same room doing the Zoom. Oh, like, were you really? <laughs> okay. Oh, you just said so it, it just the looked, background. Yeah, yeah. That's, which was that's very amazing. Cool. And uh, you know, very timely. It's something everyone can relate to now. Um, uh, Dating maybe, online. Dating online. Uh, yeah, maybe not necessarily like that. But uh, so I thought you brought a, a pretty cool extra element into it. But uh, yeah, the, the, <laughs> the dating online thing is weird, though. Well, it is. Yeah. It is. And actually, Love Letters Profiles is the name of the movie, but it's also the name of my writing business that I started during the pandemic. Yes, which and is uh, you know, which is related. But tell us about the the business, the Love Letters Profile yeah, business. Yeah, so it's idea. a dating profile writing business. Because as a writer, when people find out I'm a writer and I w I'm a VP at a biotech company when I'm not doing things like yeah. this, uh, they normally ask me, first of all, like, can you help me with my resume or <laughs> can you help me with my dating profile since you're kind of funny? So I made a business out of resume writing and dating profiles. That's so amazing. Love Letters Profiles, um, I just started collecting all of these really funny and heartbreaking dating stories from working on people's profiles. Yeah. And I took a couple of them and I made them into a script and entered it into the <laughs> London Screenwriting Festival and it was a semi-finalist. Right. And I thought, wow, I'm, there's something here. Let's I'm film it. something here. And uh, we filmed it in my house and it uh, Turnstiles Coffee, shout out to them, in Belmar. And, oh yeah, great uh, place. Yeah. Great place. And yeah. we shot it in like a day and a half. She came down from, from uh, Long Island and, uh, you know, it was just, it was... I, can scarcely believe we're here because it was kind of such a whirlwind, uh, you know, to, to, to start a dating profile writing business in a pandemic and then end up right. being at the Garden State Film Festival. Right, like, you know, actually producing a film and then... Like a and then comic. <laughs> just <laughs> now, were you planning on doing this as a series? I am, yeah. So I've uh, sketched out and I've started to write other episodes for it. I kind of see this as, you know, if you see Modern Love on Amazon. Sure, which okay. really cool stories. But I also see, like, Nip Tuck. Okay. So yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. Talk, the slightly twisted. Right. Um, <laughs> so it's like it's their sweet stories, but they'd have a little like a dark side, a little or, dark twisted. Yeah. Them because a lot of these um, stories that I'm getting, I mean, some of it like writes itself. Yeah. Uh, which is oh been, man, have you, yeah. And I obviously <laughs> protect the names of the innocent and 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 protect the you know integrity of my clients, so I don't usually just do these dating so stories to write about you yeah. know, that kind of thing. But it's just sort of. Some of them are so crazy funny that it's 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 really amazing. Yeah, I gotta admit, uh, I love having uh, I love my single female friends because they send me all their horrible dating. Either I get the screenshot of the horrible dating me. profile, <laughs> or I hear the stories about the ones that they swiped on. I was like, wait a minute, this didn't work out. This guy was yeah. not what he claimed he was, or this didn't work out exactly what I thought it was. And and I, uh, and I must say, you know, just to turn it over to to Jer here for a second. We've, this is our second film together. We've had a creative partnership for, for many, many years. And to write, most of my clients were women, to write this from a man's perspective, yeah. to have Jer act in it and, and provide her sensibility to this right. really brought 
such a level of authenticity. So um, even though I wrote it, she created a character that really propelled this yeah. uh, this female ethos that I wouldn't have had. I think when you write, you have a picture in your head, right, of the character, yeah. and then but then to see it actually performed and like, hey, I'm going to kind of do my own thing with it and yeah. maybe even elevate it. Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, that's all you were though. Yeah. How did friend. you get into the character? Yeah. Well, it's, it's, she is, um, we've done another uh, film, McLean Avenue, mm-hmm. and which was The Irish Mammy. And which I loved. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when Mike uh, approached me with this script, um, we had two choices to either to bring back this particular character yes. or to create an o- another woman. She's an older woman. She's, she's a lot older than me. And, um, finding her new found sexuality so we decided both of us in agreement to bring the same character back okay so it was actually really exciting for me to have a new script for her mm. and a new um a new adventure so i i i'm very much um uh in tuned with this character from from back the other films so yeah. to bring her into a new script was amazing it was kind of the crossover from you wanted to do more episodes or of the other one and kind of just brought the well, characters. I, I, into actually, it, it very much yeah. was. So what I, my vision was, was that, um, you know, we only produced one of, of McLean Avenue. So this could serve as episode two of McLean Avenue. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Or it could stand on its own as Love Letters Profile. Right. So we actually filmed it not really knowing. Mm-hmm. You know, we thought, well, we could easily just change the skin on the front and the back of it and make it McLean Avenue Part 2. Right. Yeah. Or it could stand on its own, and, and in retrospect, we, we decided to have it yeah. stand on its own. And it also serves a triple purpose because it's kind of a commercial to the business. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. So yeah. So it, it kind of, you know, with uh, money being as tight as it is now, yeah, yeah, yeah. we wanted to have, I had three purposes. It could be McLean Avenue 2, it could be, <laughs> it's a commercial for the business right. you could chop up, or it could stand on its, its a, own yeah. as a series. Yeah. That's, that's smart, though. Mm-hmm. That's, what, that's how smart people get rich, I think. <laughs> they, uh, they, you know, they, they, uh, they, they repur- you know, they use material and then they are able to repurpose it like a million times. Exactly. Get paid exactly. for all of it. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it's, um, but that's, you know, that's part of the creative process too. You just decide. Like we were just talking in the car on the way to down here. Yeah. We were talking about. She does these amazing videos uh, with a with a doll, and it's a doll that somebody found in Ireland. I'm like. You gotta contact the doll company because these are amazing. <laughs> yeah. We can make a TV series, have them sponsor it. So I'm always <laughs> right, right, right. You're, yeah, always um, thinking. One of the things that I'm, <laughs> I get a lot of inspiration from Mick Jagger in that he not only makes the Rolling Stones m- music, but he knows the bottom line of the tours. Yes. So oh yeah. That left brain, right brain, <laughs> the finance guy meets right. the creative guy. I always try to emulate that. I had no idea Mick Jagger was an accountant uh, on the he side. He went to the London School of Economics. He did. Okay. So he, <laughs> all right, so he's very well aware he's of... He's very uh, well aware. He knows what the, the break-even point of the tour. Right. That's, he knows what the green M&M's cost. He knows... Oh, he knows <laughs> what the... Yeah. And, 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 you know, it's extra to sort the green M&M's. He oh, yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So how is it being local and getting the film into Garden State Film Festival? Well, that means everything. I mean, you know, there's... I, I relate to it, and, and you know, hats off to you, CJ, and, and to everybody at Garden State uh, as well, because you know we're all doing these film festivals. It brings the attention to Jersey-based storytellers. Um, there's the rumor that you know Netflix might take over Fort Monmouth. Yes. Monmouth. So I'm like, why wouldn't Hollywood come to us? We have no. this yeah. really yeah. great stuff going on. Yeah. So, so to be here, like as I said earlier. The fact that I started a dating writing profile writing business in a pandemic, and then here would be the spotlights. It's like, oh my god! It's, yeah, it's really amazing. I um, I don't know if you release numbers on this. Uh, your your love letters profile writing business. Uh, you know, do you have a, do you keep track on success rates on that? Or I actually you... have a hundred percent success. <laughs> really? Rate. I'm not jo- joking. And really? Here's how you do it. Okay. Okay. You have to have you have to make somebody smile or laugh. Okay. In the first sentence or two because okay. humor is is typically something that people find most attractive right so if you can make them smile or laugh that's great oh okay. it doesn't matter how tall you are how what you weigh yeah um, you know no. or, 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 and or, and or, and this story oh. idea which is what Jer, what Jer really latched on to um this was an actual dating profile called the Catholic Cougar Looks to Pray, P R E Y. And <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and of course, I'm in. like I, I, you know, I can't, I can't the, emphasize yeah. enough uh, 
I love to write comedies, but to have this right here is Lucille Ball funny. She will <laughs> go for the That's... jugular for, you know, and, and to have her take whatever funny thing I would have written to just expand it. She's, she really is comedy without a net, which is, is really very fun to work with. Who wants a net in comedy? Yeah, exactly. Who wants a net? <laughs> Who wants a net? <laughs> All right, I just bring that. I, I have someone he's sitting right next to me, he's single. You know, maybe could use some help in the uh, dating profile writing department. 100% success rate, I'm yeah, just saying. Right. Right. Filmmaker That's with sick. a long lens. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I am Irish, though. All right, <laughs> filmmaker with a short lens. <laughs> a short, wide lens, though. A short, wide a short, lens. Yes. Short, there you short go. lens I can capture. <laughs> a short, wide lens. <laughs> looking to zoom in on the right spot. Boom. Wow, see, so he just came up with that on That's the spot. Right. Mic drop. That's right. Chris says, drop it. Need. Just That's drop it right there. That's, we just dropped it. We just did that. There you go. There you go. Um, and by the way, if you want to have me as the flower guy at your wedding, I'll, I'll do it. Yes. He'll, uh, yeah, he'll, I he'll take the, the chicken, not the steak. So. Chicken. Chicken and steaks. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, when do you do? When do you screen? Tomorrow. So we, yeah. Okay. That okay. is tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, we, we we screen tomorrow at the Jersey Shore um, the Art Center. Art Center, and uh, got tons of family and friends coming, and you know it's just great. And and uh, we also love the, the fact that your premier first film for the Friday night was a Irish film. That was yeah. Like, yeah. Was that yeah, right? Yeah, that was so good. That was something. I wanted to see that when I saw. I was like, I wonder when this is playing. Yeah. Because I I was looking at films and then I I was like, we were there and I was like, yeah. when they're doing an Irish film? It's like tonight, right now. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess we, like, oh, we, we caught it. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we caught it. It was great yeah. timing. So and we were like, why is there subtitles, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, the the, uh, the brogue, I believe it's called, right? The, yeah. Uh, the Irish yeah. brogue. I used to call my myself out of school all the time with the Irish brogue. Oh. <laughs> Michael won't be in today. The crater's doubled over like, and I just, I can't even lift him he's, off the couch. He's got the diarrhea. He has a test today. Like, <laughs> he's got the diarrhea. He's got the he's diarrhea. Shitting his brain's out like. <laughs> oh, the humanity. Oh, the humanity. Oh. Exactly. I so, how you call me out of school? Yeah, yeah. What's next for you? Writing another episode or something different? Yeah, what are you working on? Um, well, it's interesting. So this Peg character, we made her funny, but my first novel was actually called Collard, and it was set in the sex abuse scandals of the Catholic Church. And um, I have gone back to that. It's a, I wrote that in 2004, and I see the Peg character. This is really dark. This is like if Tony Soprano was sexually abused by an altar boy. Right, and what happens, like how he gets yeah, revenge. There's, like, there's oh, man. blood all over the place. Okay. So it's a real suspense, and it's an angry thriller and it's the thing that scares me to write as a screenplay, which is kind that, of where that's I'm why thinking. you do it. That's why I that's why do you it. do it. And uh, and you've got a number of projects as well. So she's also uh, I'm so inspired by her filmmaking. Tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> yeah, I have um, uh, switch, uh, which I uh, co-wrote and produced with my partner uh, Jennifer Piero. In we have a company called Garfield Style Productions. Yeah. And uh, so that has been in the film circuit. Yeah, is Switch playing here? No, it's not okay. here. Um, it was at um, Brightside. Okay, All right. shout out to Brightside. Point Lookout. And it's, shout out to Point, point lookout. lookout. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> um, so that's in the works, and I'm just currently writing. Um, I do a lot of poetry. I'm, we're talking about doing a children's um, show. I, you know, I'd like to do something with children, and um, you know, a lot of stuff in the works. A lot of you know, things going on. Yeah, yeah you never stop. Yeah, no, neither, keep going. Neither, keep neither, neither, neither of you. Yeah. Well, what about theater? You, you've done theater. Yes, I'm doing, I'm, I'm currently in uh, rehearsals. I'm doing a play next weekend. We're opening at the Chain Theater called The Fail, and um, it's opening next Friday with oh, wow. Manhattan Rep. Oh wow! So, yeah, theater's back. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thank God. Oh, thank theater, God. live theater. Live yeah, theater. Live theater. Live theater. I, I, I wrote my own uh, one woman. I have a couple of one woman uh, plays that I've written. So uh, just before Christmas, I wrote myself portrait, and it's based on. Um, uh, it's my story where I came as an immigrant. I came here like over forty years ago, yeah. and how I came here. 40 years ago, there was no cell phone, no internet, right. and it was letter writing, and I oh, write to back you. and forth yeah. to my parents, yeah. <laughs> and so the present day, I'm stuck in a pandemic, and I can't, if, it, right. even if I wanted to, go home, so that's the premise of that, so I did that before, um, 
Christmas. So it was so good to be back on stage and yeah. have an audience, you know, so. Yeah, the, that, the energy, right? Oh, the feedback. It, it, there's nothing yeah. like it. There's yeah. nothing like it. And I would just say, too, that... Um, so the reason we got together was I wrote a book called This Is Your Brain on Shamrocks about growing up Irish and Catholic right. and guilty. Is that your recent one? Because you just had a book signing. I just had a book signing. That was The Last Temptation to Mary. That's my sixth. But my first book, we actually, uh, it's funny stories about growing up Irish and Catholic and guilty. I found her uh, at the Manhattan Repertory Theater, and she was like, I can't find a decent part for an Irish woman of a certain age <laughs> in here in New York City. So we got together and one of the greatest moments of my life was to, when she brought the Irish mother character to life on stage. I was in the back of the yeah. stage. Yeah, this character started, on, it, stage. Oh, wow, started okay. on stage. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. stage. Wow. So, we, uh, so you we saw uh, it unfold right in yeah. front of your eyes. Yeah. So yeah. that and amazing. That was amazing to watch your characters that you had in your head now on a stage. So this was very much theater that inspired the, the filming yeah. that we do now, for wow. sure. Yeah. And we'd love to go back to that. And as then well. in in theater too, we we got the feedback immediately. Right. Like the character yeah, was very. Yeah, yeah. People loved her, and we developed her even more and more. And uh, so to bring her from stage literally to screen has been an amazing. I would like to see McLean Avenue on the stage. That would be yeah, yeah, interesting. Wouldn't that be yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, listen, you guys have a black box theater, right? Yeah. Uh, the Smod Castle. Yeah, Castle. Kevin yeah. Smith's Smod Castle. So yeah. I want. I'm serious. I want to bring that into the Smod Castle. Yeah, let's that do would it. Be great. Let's Seriously, do it. I would I love to see it. that. Be amazing. Yeah. I would love to Very see good. that. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, all thank the, you guys all the for bar scenes. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, bar, yeah, yeah, the, the bar, bar scenes. scenes. Yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, I, it would be kind of fun. Wouldn't it would, it? Yeah. Right? I'm really excited about that. <laughs> uh, is there a website for Love Letters Profile? Is there any social media? Yeah, so loveLettersProfiles.com at loveLettersProfiles. This is your brain on Shamrocks.com is the Irish books. Okay. Oh, and uh, your your business. So uh, how do you how do I you know say? How do you I sign would, me up? Yeah, so love, sign, yes. <laughs> love letters profiles dot com. Okay, and uh, the way we do it is that you fill out a survey about dates you like, dates you don't like. Okay, um, and I actually have your friends help you write it. Okay, and Smart. so you get some friends. So Ming, yeah, no, nope. you can help. Absolutely, him. I will. You can help you be the co writer on that. Absolutely, I will. And then uh, we do a dating profile that's short, sweet, and uh, Funny. gets you in action. Amazing. Whatever that's action good. looks like for you. Share that 100% success rate. I, yeah. That's one I can bank on for sure. Yes. Yeah. So uh, great luck with the screening for sure. Thank, thank you very much. And, uh, thank thank, you. thank, you. thank, you. Yeah, thank yes. you guys for coming down. This is fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. Thank you for having us. Awesome. And thanks to the Garden State Film Festival yes. again. Uh, I can't imagine what it's like. to. It's hard enough to stage this not in a pandemic. I know. And they and did. Do yeah, it, they did it. They, 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 they have not missed a year. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's not missed a year. A mad respect for them, yeah. really. So Laura and Diane, yeah, Laura, yeah. Heather, awesome. everybody back there. Well, I'm uh, sure you have a big, huge screening tomorrow. Everyone's going to love you. it. Yeah, Thank man. you. We're looking yeah. forward to it. Yeah, right. definitely. Uh, yeah, definitely come out. Films are rolling all weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, see one, see them all. Come to the, uh, the, the parties. Come to the award ceremony. Uh, GSFF.org for a schedule, tickets, info, and uh, thank you guys so much. Thank right, you. Love thank you so much. Profiles. Thank you. Great. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Thank you.